Item 208, request of Tim McCormick to address council regarding permanent housing options to address homelessness. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mayor and council members. My name is Tim McCormick. I'm the founder and moderator of PDX Shelter Forum and lead organizer at Village Collaborative. I'm here to testify about shelter to housing continuum, but also really what is the next stage in our thinking and reaching the goals of it. Now, I know it might seem like at this point, we've all heard plenty about S2HC and we, we're down to settling a few details, but I'd like to make a case, first of all, that there are some key points still in play that we need to get right. And second, perhaps more importantly, that this is really just an initial stage of a longer term exploration, since we're just hardly beginning any new projects with the code. And we may just be beginning to learn what works and what the needs and potentials are. Also, I believe it's really key in the next year, how we carefully join and extend this work with some other key initiatives, in particular, residential infill project part two, which is just beginning, and then budget and funding issues. So backing up a step, I wrote an Oregonian op-ed two weeks back, you may have seen, along with the leader of Afro Village PDX, Laquita Lanford, and the chair of Interfaith Alliance, Les Wardner. The title in print says, Open New Paths from the Streets to Permanent Housing. Now, what I was trying to particularly emphasize here is the goal here is continuum or tr transition path from homelessness to housing. And I'd like to suggest that Possibly in certain ways, this has actually been somewhat under addressed in S2HC. What S2HC does most, mostly is create new shelter, uh, not create new housing. There's one way that it does, and that is the provision allowing vehicle residences, including tiny homes on wheels. And I want to stress this is a key breakthrough with potentially big significance, and let's not let that chip away. And please do not encumber this with requiring fixed sewer connections which would often be very expensive, inflexible, non-adaptive in disaster, and not unnecessary. But going beyond the vehicle home provision, I ask that we think about how do we actually build concrete, widespread, low-cost housing, building upon what we've done. And I want to particularly point your attention to and begin our thinking about RIP2. And I'm sorry, um, looking at the leg. And um, now, as, as you know, the reason we're kicking that off is to comply with state law, um, uh, requiring us to implement cottage clusters. And um, so over the next year, we need to do this for state law. And there's a huge opportunity to take our thinking about villages and outdoor shelters and steer them into this new planning effort that is actually building uh, a new form of permanent village, which you could, could call uh, cottage clusters. So what I'm hoping is that at this early point in that project, we can uh, give some steering to planning and invite the public to say, what's the next phase of villages and outdoor shelters? And how do we create widespread, low cost, flexible housing that is permanent and isn't merely shelter? Uh, thank you for, for my time and looking forward to working on this. Hey, Tim, could I ask you a question? This this is sure. Here. Is do, do you have a specific model or is there a website link or how, how can we get more information if we want to follow up and see what what your vision is with the cluster village where where could I see that information? Sure. Um, well, there's a couple things, you know, it's it's unfolding because it's, you know, rulemaking that's beginning at the city. Mm -hmm. But um, I guess a, a good encapsulation could be something that I and a team created starting in 2018 which we called New Starter Homes Project. And this was a, actually initially a grant application for Meyer Foundation um, and has continued on. And basically what we envision there specifically is a model where you have almost like a municipal housing portfolio or fleet of low cost homes that are deployed uh, potentially as like cottages or accessory dwellings. And they're aimed specifically at the lowest income residents and homeowners. So um, I can, um, I'm trying to think, I mean, it's, it's like bit.ly levitate town, <laughs> punning on levitown, uh, but I can, uh, I can send you those links and materials. So that's an encapsulated sort of presentation on that point. That, that, would, was, that would actually, yeah, yeah. yeah that, that would be helpful. And if you just wanted to okay. send it 
to the, the council clerk this, the same way you signed up. She'll get it to us. That'd be great. Okay, sure. Be happy to do that. Awesome. Thanks for testifying, Tim. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.